her mission with the dragon orb done, Kitara went back to tracking her previous companions and found them all in Tharsis, which was being sacked by the Red Dragon Army, sending her Blue Dragon Sky and some other Blue Dragons to hunt Tanis and her half-brothers Ratslin and Caramon, Kit went on a personal quest to hunt Lorana. When she did finally lay eyes on her prey, she came to a decision that she was too beautiful and had to be rid of her. With aid from Slyph, a draconian, the both of them managed to grab and bring her into an alley. Lorana seemed doomed, but by the grace of Paladine, Derek Crown Guard and some Solamic Knights happened upon the soon-to-be-murdered Lorana and Kit and Slyph were forced to flee. But before Kit left, she promised Lorana that they would meet again. The trend continued though and Sky was also unable to achieve his mission and thus Kit was called to answer for her failures by the now Emperor Ariakas. Now, what Kit did not know was that she was being spied on by Ariaka's mistress, the wizardess Lorante, and reported Kit's obsession with the companions, which had assassinated Lord Verminard of the Red Dragon Army, leading him to a theory of treason. When Kit arrived in Naraka, she was arrested and sentenced to death, but it was all actually a game of politics as Lorante was actually just playing Kit and Ariakas off each other and allowed her to escape. Wanted, Kit travelled to Dagad Keep, bastion of the Death Knight Lord Soth. Lord Soth was still not part of the Dragon Armies as Soth had told Takisis, Queen of Darkness, that only a High Lord that could spend the night in his castle would get his service. Which of course Kit did and with her return with Lord Soth in tow, her position as Dragon High Lord was restored. The newly restored Blue Dragon Army High Lord was then sent to Floatsam to hunt for the immortal Bremen, also known as the Green Gemstone Man. There she happened upon Tanis, who had disguised himself as one of her soldiers. This chance encounter leading to a rekindling of their old relationship. Then, a great battle, Kit then sent her army against the High Clarice Tower, where she faced Strum Brightblade, father to her child Steel, on the battlements and killed him. But still, her forces were defeated when Lorana was able to use the Dragon Orb to kill two of her dragons and drive her draconians berserk. Upon returning to Floatsam, Kit found Tanis and Bremen on the ship Pecoron, leaving. She tried to capture the ship on her dragon, but the ship was pulled under the blood sea of Ishtar by the Maelstrom. Meanwhile, the good metallic dragons had come to join the war, and with Lorana named as the Golden General, the Coalition Whitestone Army was formed. The newly formed army went up against Kitara's forces and defeated hers and even Kit's second-in-command Barakis was captured and Kalaman's city freed from the control of Ariakas. Again, Ariakas ordered that Kit be executed for failure but Lord Soth intervened and Kitara promised her emperor that she had a plan to capture Lorana and destroy the Whitestone army by luring her into a trap using her love, Tanis, as bait. This she did by sending a message to Lorana that Tanis had been critically wounded and wanted to see her one final time, which she would allow if Barakis was returned in exchange. Lorana believed it, foolishly in my opinion, and of course she was captured with Tanis nowhere in sight. Kit then went to Kalaman and announced that unless the Whitestone army surrendered and Bremen presented to her, she would execute their golden general. So things are finally looking up for Kit, but will it continue?
find out next time. Until next word.